Want to create a private podcast for free without having to pay the expensive hosting fees? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. So if you're looking to share exclusive content, maybe make a members only podcast, or even keep your episodes invite only, this is the easy software that you can have for free that takes five minutes or less to set up. In short, this private podcast setup is exactly what you need. So let's get into it. Now, private podcasts have become a bigger thing over the last few years because there are some things that are really helpful to have private, whether it be exclusive episodes, there's becoming a greater demand for private podcasts, but also not wanting to pay for a yet another software on top of this. So I know there's a couple out there from Hello Audio and a few others, but this platform I've not seen anywhere and I actually stumbled upon it on a Reddit post. I want to thank the developers so much for creating this because it's saving a lot of people who are wanting private podcasts or even multiple podcasts podcast for free is a place to be. The tool is pushpod.net. I'll show you a breakdown of what it looks like and how I use it for myself for creating a better student experience for one of my courses, but also a way you can use it to make more sales for you in your sales funnels and courses. So this video is going to go over that strategy, but for right now, let's show you how to set it up so you can get started with this today in minutes. So this is pushpod, at least the inside. You'll see that it has this logo. This is something that a developer set up. It's not like one of the fancy softwares that are like really pretty built out but it works and it's free so to me that's all you really need right now so what you'll see once you join and it does a, an easy way to sign up through email like a standard software would be and when you get there you'll be in this dashboard so this is where I'm at right now and it actually gives you steps to know what to do to set it up so there's a storage account and storage account just means like where your files will be housed since normally with other softwares they have it for you for example like you upload it like the mp3 file natively to a Spotify or a Kajabi or a podcast hosting platform, but this one is different. So this software is actually mainly helping you create an RSS feed link. So in case you don't know, podcasts at the end of the day are just pushed out via RSS feeds. They are a strip or a link that you can find that basically communicates to all of the other podcast platforms out there that this is live. And for a lot of are using podcast hosting platforms that are pushing out your feed for you, they're able to easily use that RSS feed link and put it to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the other things. But because this is different, where you're actually having a self-hosted RSS feed link, you can choose who gets to use it. And the cool thing is with an RSS feed link, I know it sounds very techy, but all it really means, it's kind of like a URL. Like if you were to have your website URL, you would just add that to your podcast platform of choice, like Apple Podcasts, and then it'll auto add you in there. I'll show you exactly what that looks like. And then you're good to go. And it allows you to have select access of who gets to see it rather than the podcast platforms out there normally just have it be spread to every single platform. So this is giving you choice. So because of that, it doesn't have that auto push or auto storage. It's really about just helping you create a feed that, ha that you can choose where it goes. So the thing is, the first thing we'll do is add a storage account. This is normally gonna be, and you can see here under storage tab, this is gonna be a, a Dropbox usually. I think if I were to go here and press Dropbox or OneDrive, these are the two storage options you get. I personally really haven't used OneDrive, but I have used Dropbox before. Actually, my main storage is honestly Google Drive, but for this, you just create a free Dropbox account and you'll be able to have, I think, a certain amount of gigabytes you can add your files into. So first thing you do is just choose the, the one you wanna go for. And then once from there, it'll take you to log in to whichever one you choose, Dropbox or OneDrive. Again, you can create a free account with Dropbox or OneDrive, and then you're just gonna press allow for PushPod. And then for you, there will be just one podcast. I already have one set up that I'll show you afterwards, but this is now what it looks like. It'll say your name because it's taking that from the main host of the storage account. And then if you go from here, it'll show you the link to the account, the email that you're using and the number of podcasts there are. So if we go back to storage, you'll see here, you can self-click this, but I have already done the storage account. That was me connecting that piece. You can all, then you add in your podcast. So now with that connected, storage here, then you'll create a podcast. I already have one for one of my courses for the hobby club. This is something that only people get access to it if they get the URL here. That's the RSS link that I mentioned earlier. And it has the cover, it has the uh, files in it, and these are all inside of Dropbox. So you see this URL here, it goes all the way down. That's the, U the RSS feed that you will be giving your people so they can add it to their podcast platform of their choice and be able to start listening to it. And it looks like this. So what you'll notice if you go back, they also actually count the number of hits so people who've um, actually gone to the podcast, which is really cool because for a free thing, sometimes analytics aren't always given, but this is what it would look like. But if you want 
wanted to create a new podcast, uh, you can create one in this folder and also you'll be able to refresh podcasts from here. So anyway, I've already created a podcast there. What you'll notice, so I'm gonna keep going further down, is you can add podcast or episodes to your Dropbox account. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with one already created. So you'll see here, there's the podcast I already created, and then this is the actual Dropbox folder that it's connected to. So this is the actual Dropbox that it's connected to. Again, this is the one that's already created. You'll see here there are different folders, different apps. This, so each folder is a podcast essentially. So what you would do is you go to your folders, you would create a new folder here, and this is the folder that is the podcast. So I know it looks like nothing because again, our the way that we see it on the back end looks not as pretty and as seamless as those other paid platforms are, but it's pretty easy to do. All you would do is add in your MP3 files, make sure to name them whatever you want them to be named. Um, because this is not going to rank it based off of like which one gets added in, make sure to have the names for these be like if it's a sequential thing where let's say you have 10 episodes, it's like a mini series and you have to start from like one to two, like one to 10. Make sure to put one, two, three, four in the name of it because that'll help it rank from like top to bottom. So I put part one, two, three in here. And then this is the cover photo and you just upload an image of your podcast cover. And what PushPod will do is take this and you'll have it as that folder. It'll have you connected to it. And then that is your podcast. And you can continue adding in new MP3 files and it'll continue pushing that into your podcast. So you have this open opportunity to create either as big or small of a private podcast as you want. And you can have it basically list based off of the name. So if you're doing this for like, let's say having all of your coaching calls from a group program on there, just have the dates by it. So the today is date all the way down. That way people can find it easily and it can rank from there. Or if you're again, mini series one, two, three, four, five, that's all you need to do. And you can have as many episodes as you want in it. Again, they're all just MP3 files like you would have as a, like a song and then a PNG or JPEG for the cover photo. You can create this easily in Canva. This one is created in Canva. <laughs> and that's all you have to do for it. Like I even put here, private RSS feed. So if I take you back to this area, that's exactly what I did. So I had the storage account I just showed you. You connected to your Dropbox. I added the podcast in the podcast tab where it has the Hobby Procrastination Rescue Kit. You can see here the names I mentioned. They have the sort name here as well. Um, you'll be able to see as many episodes as you can. There's also these things around metadata and custom settings. I just try to make my life easier and not worry about them. This would be the RSS link that you'd add in. I'll show you what it looks like based off of when you add it to your own or have your students do it. I also make sure for whenever I'm doing a private podcast, there is an article that you can use that helps them for no, no matter which podcast platform they listen to, how to add it in. So if you want that article that's free, just comment below article and I can put that in the comments below. And then this is for refreshing podcasts. If you plan to have this be something where you add to it continuously, just make sure to refresh it every time you add in a new MP3 file. And then this save is just saving. <laughs> so that's what it looks like on the back end. Now let me show you what it looks like if you were to add it to your podcast or to any podcast platform. And again, just make sure that you hit these checkpoints they give you. It's really easy. As you can tell, it's it's more so, it just doesn't look as pretty. And somehow they actually don't have a, a tutorial for this. So I guess I'm being the go-to tutorial for it. What you'll notice if I go back to podcasts and I go here, this is where the storage is. And then the, this RSS feed. So I'm just gonna click here and see if it'll let me. I might be able to do it from this side. If that doesn't work for you, you can always just go natively click and press copy. From there, what you're gonna do is open up the podcast tab and I'll show you what that looks like when you add it in. I don't have a head right now, but I wanna show you what this looks like if you were to add it to, for right now, just the test of the desktop podcast with your RSS link you just copied. Same thing that can happen. You can do the same thing in your Apple podcast or a few others. Again, it goes deeper into that free article I mentioned. So what you'll do is go into your podcast of choice then from here, you'll see there's like file, there's all of these things. What we want to go to is where it says follow a show by URL. So like I mentioned, an RSS feed is just a URL and this is the URL that we just copied. So you can just see, just copy and pasted it and you're just going to press follow. And from there, you now have the podcast feed that's already in here. It has all the episodes and something you will know, I did pay. They have a one-time payment of $9 you can pay for that takes off. If it's the free, it'll say buy push pod access and push pod access here. So if you don't want to do that, that's where you could pay for the $9, but it's like a lifetime fee of $9. If not, it'll just be a little bit different by saying it says um, push podcast uh, and free access 
on the latter half of the, the titles, which I think it just depends on what you like or if you wanna pay for it or not, or if you think your audience will care. I think it's kind of a 50-50 there. But this is how it will look and it would be the same thing that you do on any of the Pockets platforms. You can actually tell there are some private podcasts already here that I was uh, testing out too. And all you have to do is just follow that link. So that's all you have to do when it comes to adding your people, uh, having your people add their private podcast to their platform. Obviously this is an example for Apple, it's slightly different for other platforms, but I wanted to show you so that way you have that there and I'll do a final quick recap just to kind of wrap all of this up. So now you know how to create your private podcast for free. And again, it just takes a couple minutes. I know it can feel a little bit weird tech wise if you don't have a tutorial to follow. So I wanted to make this kind of the tutorial that I wish I would have had when I created this, even though it's still pretty straightforward with the steps there. Something I did forget to mention is once you pay for the lifetime fee, especially you can be able to uh, create as many private podcasts as you want. So if you're someone who wants to create down the road, have multiple ones, it's amazing. Or if you're wanting to better use it, to help you sell more of your courses and watch the next video where I go even further into like the strategy that I have for my clients, especially if you're selling something for over $300, you need more touch points for people to be ready to buy. And this is a really cool strategy to use to help actually sell your thing for you without having to do any calls or DMs. So watch the next video to hear more about that and happy podcasting.